Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. For any of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Elena Joy. I make videos on the internet. That's not my intro! If you don't know me, hi, my name's Elena Joy. I make videos on this channel mostly about the queer community, sex, dating, relationships, but sometimes I react to the button. The one and only, the button from Cut. You know it, you love it. We hate it? We love to hate it. <laughs> Last time I reacted to the bisexual episode, which I finally found after months of all of you shouting at me. And this time I have found a kinky version. I'm very excited. It is called Kinky Singles Try and Find Love. Now, if you know anything about me, <laughs> Any way I finish that sentence is gonna be misconstrued. I'm realizing now as I'm thinking it through. I'm very interested in kink. <laughs> Not necessarily personally, but it's just an area of interest, you know? Your girl's curious. No, and in a more serious way. I'm also a counseling student right now, and I'm very interested in sex therapy and everything under that umbrella. So therefore, this episode feels just right for me. And I'm excited. So without too much ado, let's get into it. <sighs> oh my God. Look at these two. It's gay. It's gay right from the start. I knew this episode was for me. I knew I was gonna enjoy this. This feels like a TikTok reaction video. I feel the same level of excitement right now. I'm very into the king community, so. Okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Okay, so we just immediately jumped into the deep end. <laughs> I was hoping for maybe some like solid kink representation and maybe we'll get there. But what I mean by that is like a destigmatizing of kink. I think a good first step in destigmatizing kink would be not to intro the video with P. <laughs> Come on! It's the, for clicks, I get it, it's for clicks. But before we get into the rest of the buttoning, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's content, Beducated. And there could not be a better sponsor for this video than Beducated. For any of you who don't know, Beducated is the place to go for pleasure-centered sex education. They have a, over a hundred sex education courses from experts around the world, and they strive to create educational content that is inclusive and safe for all people, no matter your sexual orientation, your gender, or your relationship status. And I go hard for beducated. <laughs> Sex education generally is severely lacking in today's education system, but never mind pleasure-centered sex education. The beducated courses, they have courses on everything. When I first started partnering with them, I would talk about mostly the, the vulva-centered classes, like how to engage with a vulva in nice ways. You know, for those of us baby gays who are just trying to figure it out and I stand behind those classes. But you know, as we've grown, as we've evolved, as we've learned, the beducated courses go so much deeper. <laughs> For example, they have a whole host of classes on kink. They have aftercare, wax play, dirty talk. There's bondage, there's shibari, which is like the art of rope tying on a body. From beginner to expert. <laughs> There's something for you. Beducated's main three goals are to help you communicate better, enjoy sex more, and build confidence. And of course, I've got a deal for you. If you use code Elena, you can get 40% off an annual subscription. 40% off. There's also a one day free trial when you sign up and a 14 day money back guarantee. So you can sign up. If it's not for you, you can get your money back easy peasy. Click the link in my description to check it out. This is the button. Hi. My name's Gabriel. I'm Lonnie. Hi. Gabriel and Lonnie. Fun fact about Gabriel. Sometimes he farts during sex. Okay, but is it like a kink thing or is that just Biological. Oh, we should guess their kinks. Before they say what their kinks are, we should guess them. Should we? Mm, that feels like we might be wading into dangerous waters. On second thought. Okay, that was, that's, that's the gross misrepresentation. <laughs> you fart during sex. Not regularly. A gross The time I lost my virginity. Uh -huh. I was very, I was terribly nervous. Okay. And I just farted out of nervousness and, you know, 
She laughed at me. How did that even end? Oh, Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel ha had a nervous release his first time and she laughed at him. This is our first clue into Gabriel's kink. Gabriel likes being laughed at. That's now what has happened, is that has formed a core memory and now he wants you to laugh at him. Humiliation, degrading, right? Degradation. What are you two looking for in a relationship right now? I mean, I, I was like monogamous for a long time and now I'm not. I'm just kind of enjoying being single and dating around, to be honest with you. What about you? Mm, I'm gonna answer, but I, I, I can't do the dating around. Messy. She's looking for a relationship. How are you doing? Good, how are you? <gasps> Good. It's gay. Her kink with the glasses, it makes this person look bookish, which makes me think. Nice in the streets, freak in the sheets. <laughs> is this, is this inappropriate? Am I being gross? Just because people are into kink doesn't mean we get to objectify them. Okay, getting my, I'm getting my shit together. Pulling it together. What are your red flags? I can get pretty hot headed. Okay. Um, okay. When I'm mad, I don't want to talk. I feel like that's more mature than trying to like be heated in the yeah. moment. For me, probably that I make everything into a joke, like I do stand up. What's your best joke right now? It better be funny. You can't do that though. You can't. I feel like that's people who do comedy's biggest pet peeve probably is when someone's like, okay, tell me a joke. Like that's not how it works. It's not like knock, knock, who's there? Here's a joke. <laughs> See, as you can tell, I do not do stand up comedy. It's like a whole thing. Okay, do you have 10 minutes for like the setup to the joke? She's gonna try though, we gotta give her credit for that. I have a joke about uh, how collecting lovers is like collecting rocks. Like you can never have too many. If you bring a certain number back through your apartment, like your leasing agent gonna start looking at you kind of funny, like damn this bitch got a lot of rocks. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you Can I ask why? Yeah, why? You're not my type. What's your type? The no. cure women. No hard feelings. <laughs> I got a mm. plywood board body. Nice to meet you. I'm Leilani. 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 Okay, what can I you apologize for mispronouncing your name. Okay, Leilani's into a bit of thicker people, thicker girls. Let's see if this new person, Sid, let's see if Sid is Leilani's cup of tea. And also, they're not saying what kink they're into. I feel ripped off. <laughs> How do you two handle pain? Piercings or That's a kink led question. The button is trying to lead them into kink talk. Or are they gonna go emotional pain? Womp womp. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I have my nipples. My nipples didn't even hurt. It hurt after. It hurt right? after, yeah. I just high pain tolerance. Full rings ripped out. And that hurt. <laughs> like on purpose? <laughs> like on purpose though? <laughs> so you have no nipple? No, I have a nipple. It oh, just okay. like kind of has like a little split in the center of it. Oh. I just got caught on the door and it just ripped it right out. Oh, no. Anyway. Are you two vibing with each other? I am, but I don't think it's going any further. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sid <laughs> Button Leilani. Tattoo says queen, huh? I am a queen. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Here we go. Be like tied up with rope or like handcuffs. I'm very into the king community, so. Okay. Tying people up. Okay, so. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm too extreme, but this episode is titled Kinky Singles Try and Find Love. And this person just said that the kinkiest thing that they've ever done is be tied up with handcuffs. I guess that counts as kink, right? Does it? <laughs> it's like. Kink light. We'll give it to her. Case dismissed. Clamps, peeing on people. Elizabeth, okay. would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Definitely not. <laughs> it was a special occasion. I really like it was a special occasion. Yes. <laughs> It sure would be. I'm also not, I hope that this isn't coming off as kink shamey. Like do whatever you're into. That's no skin off my back. I'm just interested in this pairing and how Queen here ended up sitting across from Sid and anyone being like, yeah, that's a good match. That's gonna work out. She used handcuffs once, so 
Like peeing is really, that's the next logical step to take. Is it, oh, I didn't realize it went red. Why'd you press it button? I think you're just a little too shy for me. Vanilla. You'd be surprised once you get to know me. You shouldn't have said no to pee. Yeah. You should have said no to pee. You'd be very surprised. You I like roommates. I go a little crazy if I'm alone. But. Sid, cutting them off left, right, I and center. I don't want to live with anybody. I don't like roommates. Okay. I feel like such a bitch. Like, true. No, Sid. No, I not at all. Reno. You I just know what you like. Fun fact about Reno they like to step on their partners. Oh, yeah, that's fun. You seem like also a kinky person. Is that a correct <laughs> read? I am. That is a big part of my life, but like, I'm also interested in other things. What are you passionate about? I've kind of always wanted to be like a smoky jazz lounge singer. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, Sid and Reno, I have hope. Maybe because it's the first person that also seems into kink. <laughs> I also am like kind of into the fern in Reno's hair. Maybe it's because I'm also into ferns. <laughs> Gloomy is Sunday, with shadows I spend it all. <gasps> My heart and I have decided to end it all. Dang. <laughs> that was pretty fucking oh good. Oh my god. Wait. I could listen to somebody sing like that 24-7. This clip just helped me realize how much I love that style of singing and how little of it I have in my life. Can someone in the comments let me know what kind of music that is or like what kind of vocals those are so I can look them up and put more of it into my life. Reno, are you attracted to Sid? Button, I don't know. Attraction's okay. hard. It's okay. I want to be your friend. Okay. Really bad. <laughs> You're so <laughs> Hit the button. Okay. <laughs> Sid took one on the chin. <laughs> Yeah. Nice to meet you as well. Do you smoke weed a lot? No. Okay. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> like, I'll do edibles. <gasps> <laughs> I hope you find who you're looking for. You too. No weed, no date. Do you like EDM? This is so important to me. I'm EDM? Sorry. Like yeah. music? Yeah. I think it's fun to dance to. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> okay. I hate okay. it so much. I mean, it's okay. not my favorite type of music, but I can dance to it. You're not Whoa. one of those people Whoa. that Whoa. Okay. <laughs> We're flipping. We're flopping. Can't remember this person's name, but came in with, with trickery. We've seen this on the button before. If you open with, do you like blank? The person sitting across from you is going to assume that you want them to say yes because you really like blank. So then they come up with some way that they can say, yeah, I, I like blank too. And then you turn the tables and say, well, I actually hate blank. So you suck for liking it. That's not fair. That's not fair. That should be against the dating rules. I dare you to hold hands, look at each other. <laughs> Don't say a word for 20 seconds. As someone who's autistic, eye contact is hard for me, but... Okay, if you need to look away... No, okay. no, I'm I'm open to trying hard things. Cool, so. okay. Oh, you have nice hands. I'm trying hard things, that was so sweet. I feel like that's something that this person says to themselves in the mirror in the mornings. Life is hard. Sometimes day-to-day -day things are hard, but I'm open to trying hard things. They're staring into each other's eyes. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Good. Very vulnerable, but nice. Very vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I am not a person. I always autism, feel like, like when someone has, I don't know what that piercing is called, but when they have that up there in the lip pierced, does that not? rub against your teeth and like clank against your teeth all the time. Like not only would that be a sensory nightmare to me personally, but wouldn't that like destroy your teeth? No? Dated a lot of people with autism, okay. so it's really comforting to hear that actually. Yeah. Why shouldn't someone date you two? Uh, I'm too honest. It's really hard when like somebody's like, do you like these shoes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that somebody looking to date me should be aware of like, my past and like yeah. what I've gone through. I mean, I have been in recovery for like mm -hmm. multiple reasons and I'm, I'm doing really well now. I was dealing with a pretty severe eating disorder um, that I was in recovery for about mm -hmm. six months. And there are some other issues too that I've been dealing with, just drugs and not being nice to myself and 
I don't know. It can be a lot for someone to handle. I, I mean, congratulations. Thank First you. of all, I was never diagnosed with an eating disorder, but definitely have experienced some disordered eating. Yeah. So that's not something that is like scary to me. Okay. Yeah. That's really good to hear. I, I'm on the fence about this. I don't know. It seems to be working for these two, so that's the important thing. But maybe this is a question I just pass off to you, audience. How much do you disclose on a first date in terms of trauma or like specifics the other person needs to be aware of? Because on the one hand, I'm like, oh, this is great. You're letting the person know kind of where you come from, what your needs might be, and if they can't meet those needs or if they can't meet you where you're at, then you know it's not a good match. So like, great, get that out of the way up front. But at the same time, I'm like, you don't even know each other yet. Do you need that level of disclosure in the first 10 minutes of your first date? Or maybe this is the button and I'm way overthinking it. The button literally asked them. Describe the energy you both are feeling right now. I mean, I'm kind of nervous, but I feel like I'm able to be open with you yeah. and that you won't be too freaked out by anything that I'm about to say. What about you? I'm shaking. Yeah, <laughs> me too, shaking me too. Fuck, yeah. literally. <laughs> Do you see this? It's yeah. So I'm gonna light up one more time. If you don't press They're me, cute. I'm gonna consider They're it They're cute. Match. There she goes. <gasps> <laughs> Turn off, bitch. Well, damn. Oh, it's Woo! so cute. <laughs> I won the buddy. Yay. Whoa. And then it's just over. It's over and they kick us out, just like that. We're in and we're out. They're not gentle with us. There's no debrief. There's no nothing. It's just a match and that's it. We're cut off. Cold turkey. I'm not okay with it. I need to know more every time. I'm a reality TV bitch. Once I'm invested in your storyline, I need to know everything. I need to know everything about your life and I would watch it. I wanna watch your relationship blossom and fall apart if that's the direction it's gonna go. But I, but I wanna see it. But I guess we're SOL in this case. That's it for this video. Once again, a huge thank you to Beducated for partnering with me on this video. And remember, you can use my code Elena to get 40% off the yearly pass with Beducated. So click the link, go be merry, get Beducated. <laughs> As always, an extra thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already because that's where the magic happens. Thank you for being here. I love you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, can I go on a tangent really quick? <laughs> of course, I can do whatever I want. This is my channel, my video. Except this tangent will probably go in the Patreon because I'm trying to do shorter intros. Tangent. I distracted myself out of my own tangent. Oh my God. <laughs>